so no not not there was basically nobody who could entirely escape the power of the stasi um and that is an interesting um concept as well is that um the the stasi was a huge secret police apparatus within the east german state um and it accessed many different areas of life um you know they they, they had the, they were part of the military, they were part of the foreign investigative forces, all of that. But, um, but the, the really interesting thing is that even if somebody themselves worked for the Stasi, be it officially or unofficially, they were generally um, under observation themselves. So um, you have to imagine that this giant state apparatus was highly distrustful of the population um, and so they would usually be even distrustful of the people that worked for them so um, if somebody uh, you know was put uh, on a certain task um, to to watch somebody um, you know they would you know go through a, a whole checkup if that person was suitable um, if they you know if their ideology was in line with um, you know, the socialist ideology, if they were to be trusted. Um, and another way that the, the Stasi did it was that usually um, there was never like one person watching another person. There were usually several people and quite often um, they didn't know necessarily the specifics of why they were um, asked to watch somebody. So um, it was highly, the Stasi was highly organized and very, in fact, very um, efficient in the way that they worked. Um, and so, uh, you know, they kind of broke all of these relationships apart so that it was very difficult for a single person to kind of get the, the whole picture of why they were investigating somebody and what was going on with that person. Um, and so, um, another interesting thing is that um, if you worked for the Stasi quite a lot of the time, especially if you were an official employee, you usually lived in the building, um, like a building of flats with, um, with other Stasi employees. And um, what would happen was there would be somebody keeping a book um, about who entered and left the building, um, people would be asked, oh, you know, like the neighbors would ask, oh, what, you know, how, how, how are his marital affairs? Are there problems? You know, things like that. And everything would be very much exposed. So, um, so even employees of the Stasi lived very exposed um, lives and, uh, and it was very difficult for them to actually have a private life. Um, and this is, you know, rarely, um, rarely known. Um, but actually, that that did indeed create conditions where it was very difficult for anybody to entirely escape um, the, you know, the eye of the secret police. 